States because they got stuff where they can scam you. So therefore, you know, you have to put your stuff in here, you know? So I got, oh, look at that. I got a little, and you have these things, you have these little thingies where they, you know, they, 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 they give you coupons and stuff like that, and they got your name and your, all that stuff. You're in the system. Put that over there. Because I had to go. I, well, I used that this morning. I just got it in the mail, and um, I, I I needed it because um, uh, I had to get some bananas this morning. So now they went for some bananas. But they got got kiwi fruit. Up, uh, well, I got kiwi fruit for where we get bananas for because no, no, it's not the oh, it's the feel. I got a feel good, live live good thing. But just and you would think it's a. Uh, Pure tart cherry in this thing, but it isn't. I made the smoothie just now, actually. You know, that's why I went to to the food line, whatever that is, down there. Yeah, food line, um, because I had to get some ingredients. I went bananas. I got kiwi fruit. A cherry. They have cherries here. We got a lot. I said they didn't pack the refrigerator. I got cherries. Well, it was from the refrigerator. I had some pineapple thingies from last time I was here. Um, what else? I don't know. Chia, of course, I put my chia. My chia stuff in there. Put my chia in. My chia in seeds. Let me go. My chia seeds in there. Okay, there went. On the floor, I gotta get that after the recording. And now, um, I already had um, my goat milk from. Um, a couple of weeks ago, so it's good until September. So goat's milk. Oh, I did put some uh, of this with it. Something tart, cherry tart. What the heck is this called again? Pure tart cherry. Um, what else? I forget what else. A bunch of stuff I put in there. But that's what I do. Mm. I love making smoothies. Oh yeah, the, the the chocolate, you know, you know, you have, to have the green food. There. I put the chocolate one in there with the, with the, with the, with the stuff in there for the smoothies and all that stuff. But anyway, on my way back, cause I walk. This this is what I do. See, I walk to. It's, it's like a third, three quarters of a mile. I don't know how long it is, miles, whatever. But it's it's, it's a little ways. So it's like my exercise in the morning. The store opens at seven. Usually by seven, or something two, or a little bit after seven, I walk. You know, there's a major street here, uh, but that's why I have to walk on the road there. There's a cemetery and walk there. Then, 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 then I finally get to there's there's a 7-Eleven and another quick, quick right across another gas station with some other thing. Then I walk there, da, 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 walk up, go to the food line, and uh, so then I walk back because that's my sort of exercise. I wanna, I wanna, I kind of walk. I'm a walking man. You know, check my website one of these days. You know, you see the whole Walking Man series. Anyway. So, and, but the other reason why I do it is because I got my headphones on. I have, um, and I was listening to a Black Authority. You know, his own thing. He had this thing about warning about you know the black, the white supremacists doing their thing, whatever it is. So I was listening to that because he's like an hour or something like that. And the walk it only takes me, mm, takes maybe thirty minutes at the most. No, twenty-five minutes. Or whatever. I walk at a right pace, and I go to full line, and I come back out, and I'm walking back. So I was walking back, right? Now remember, I'm listening to Black Authority about the, the whole white supremacist and how, and how you know, there's a new breed, you know, is, is moved on from the David Dukes people. It's like the David Dukes kind of like grandchildren right now, and they're they, they they're trained and what they're doing all kinds of weird things, you know. I'll, I'll put a link. You can hear that. So this is what I'm listening to, right? So I'm walking along, da -da -da -da, I'm walking, then I'm walking against the traffic like that. Then right, right when the cemetery is coming up, the little uh, a white car stops, da -da -da, it stops, you know. And I realize he's probably trying to give me a lift. You know what I mean? Cause like I'm an old man, but well, you know, people want to give me lifts all the time, you know. But I only, I only take lifts in in South Africa. <laughs> I can't explain to you, right? 
So, uh, so I, I realized that. So I walk, I go across the street, and he opens the passenger door, and so. Like it, it's a white guy, but he's got a safety vest on, or whatever. Have you got a tire in the, the back seat? So for, you know, he's he's got a uh, he's got a good vibe. You know, you can you can feel these. He has good vibe. He's like you know the you know um the status quo guy, uh, uh, um that same kind of uh, tribe that that or clan that 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 Jordan from from the status quo come, comes 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 along. Uh, the status I'll, I'll put a link to status quo just because I like the guy. You know he does. I'm, I'm sorry, I have to meander. They wouldn't. Have, they wouldn't allow status quo to have or him to have uh, credentials to the, the, the debates, right? So he ends up doing like Pacifica would do. He ends up going to like outside kind of things, they report all kinds of interesting things, much more interesting than than the pundits talking to the to the candidates, right? And so he's at a Biden party. I put that one in that link. It's great. And you know, this Biden's party starts, you know, uh, you know, listening party about it, and starts like places packed, right? And then as it, as it goes on, it's like a, um, a three quarters full, then a half full, then down to a quarter, and like nobody, they, they just giving up, right? So he's reporting like that. So I'm more interested in like that kind of reporting than hitting up. Hey, no, no, well, you did really good today. So, so he's got that vibe. So I, you can feel people. So I figured he's a decent person. However, you know, I got a couple of things happening. First, I got, you know, Jason, you know, black authority in, in my ear talking about white supremacy and da da da. We're living in, we're in Virginia. You know, people can have guns in Virginia. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Like I, I said, well, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just walking. I'm like there, you know. He says, well, I lived around here, blah blah. blah. I said, well, I live in the Hoya, and he says, well, I, I said, blah blah blah. In fact, my 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 parents are buried in the cemetery. I said, wait a second. In my brain, I'm going like, oh, well, wait a second. I'm listening to Black Authority, and, 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 and he's talking about burials. You know what I mean? And, and you know, it seemed like a, a deep, okay dude. But then again, if I get in this car and I'm going, first of all, I'm, uh, you know, it's spoiling my listening to Black Authority because I'm in a momentum. You say, you know, plus he's just interrupting my walk in the moment. It was still a little drizzling, but I had a rain umbrella. But I know he's trying to give me my. I said, no, no, this is this my morning ritual. I like right, to take my morning. So I said, yeah, I don't need to excite him. He said, well, you know, just want to give, and then, you know, I want to, you know, I just want to do good. It's something I do good, but you know, it's not that. Bad. I said, no, I, was like, but I really appreciate it. You know, blah, blah, blah. and give his hand, I shake his hand. Yeah, my, my, thank, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. But uh, I let him go. So, so I get home, and I told my sister what happens, right? I said, oh, just being paranoid. People get rides all the time. You're just being paranoid, blah, blah, blah. And you know something? That's sort of kind of true. I wasn't, actually it's not true. I wasn't really being paranoid. I just, like I said, this is my routine. I understand, you know, I don't know So anyway, <laughs> that's what happened this morning. See, when you when you get that ADOS, let me put it this way. The conference has happened in October. And you, you remember when, 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 um, when uh, uh, what's that, Black Panther came out, you know, everybody, as soon as it came up, they said, look, I just want to live. <laughs> I want to live. <laughs> just to see Black Panther, right? Well, me at this particular point, I just want to be around Lord, I got to go to the conference. I got the tickets. I got to go to the conference. I just want to see what's happening. I, I just got to be with my peoples, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what happened. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, like if the guy that, I'm sorry, but you know, that's just how I am now, now me. Me, I, me, me, I am, me, me, T from the Madisons. Taking the trenches to bed. Letting you know what I only suspect from A des of the A, D, O, S. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery. Living long enough to get to the conference. 